Brian here from Fitzpatrick's. If you have Honda Connect, well, even one or the second one, but this is the second version. Sometimes these do tend to jam up a bit. So there's a factory data reset. You may know this already, but if you don't, you might find this handy someday. So if you find that it's had a couple of anomalies or doing something weird and wonderful um, and you're nowhere near the garage, it's always worth doing a quick reset just to see, does it sort out any glitches that you've been suffering? So the first thing is settings. The second thing then is system. When you go into settings then and into system all the way down to the bottom and it's very simple and straightforward factory data reset this will restore the system's settings such as brightness so basically it's defaulting everything uh blah blah blah, blah. Are you sure you're going to continue yes i am now so after about mm, 15 20 seconds something like that it'll tell you that it's been reset back to factory state and in this case then the screen will go black for about mm, maybe 20 or 30 seconds so far and you'll see even all these areas along here uh, basically unilluminate. Uh, so we're just probably waiting for it to start back up. And then you'll see this icon here, which is the Android icon. And it's just telling you that it's basically rebooting the whole system. And that takes probably another 10 or 15 seconds or something like that. You'll see these lights illuminate along here. H badge will start coming back up. And then after about, I'd say that's maybe 30, 40 seconds, something like that. It's completely restored uh, back to factory settings and you'll see anti-theft system comes up so what we need to do is hold down the audio button and that basically turns it on the gps is going to take a couple it says 10 minutes to uh, pick up satellites and stuff it's very seldom takes that long um so we just gotta wait for that to happen and after a couple of seconds in this case you move on and the screen is now back if you remember i had a different home screen because i'd customized it we're now basically back at factory settings so uh you're basically like day one when the radio came out of the factory i found this handy because there's some people that sometimes they'll complain about the radio freezes or the hand controls freeze uh, or somebody had if you know there's a usb connector down low on these and there's also a second one in here and a customer complained before that this usb down here just for some reason wasn't playing music anymore again you get the odd anomaly like that that'll kick in and we might not the answer to it so like with a lot of modern devices because it is like a laptop do a full restart on it and it generally irons out the glitches. If there's updates to be done after that, we can check at the dealer to see if there is. So hopefully that is going to be useful to somebody if you get any anomalies on the radio that kind of come about and then disappear and they're not very frequent, then just do a factory data reset or if there's something that's not working, try data reset first because a lot of the time it'll actually sort out the problem for you. Uh, Brian here at Fitzpatrick's, anything else that you want to know about these radios or Honda cars in general, just let me know in the comment section below and uh, if you think the video is useful, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.